Hey guys, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread, and um, I saw the coolest video this morning. Do you have any of you guys watched um, Lisa Cape and Quilts? She's got a YouTube channel, and she does some super cute stuff. Well, this morning I watched a video where she did a little wall hanging um, of candy conversation hearts and it was so cute she's getting ready for Valentine's Day she was gonna hang it on her refrigerator so so cute and it's an applique quilt and so she had to um, she has this really cool light box that her daughter I guess got for Christmas or something and so she laid she had a printable she laid the heat and bond out on it you know and um, traced onto the heat and bond oh, sorry I got a lash in my eye and then she, um, of course, had to iron that on the fabric and then cut it all out and, you know, and then she showed how she manually went on her sewing machine and with some practice got a fairly good satin stitch going where she satin stitched all around the outsides of the hearts and the words on the inside. And I thought that was so, so cute and so, so, so much work. <laughs> you know... Power Tools with Thread is going to find another better way to do it. Let me show you guys. This is Simply Applique. It's a software program, and look, it is scan and cut compatible. So you know, I already, um, I went out on Google. I found some hearts on uh, just line drawings of hearts, and... Um, in other videos I've got, if you want to see how to do this, just go on my channel and look for Brother Scan and Cut, and I show you how to upload stuff into the Brother Scan and Cut canvas. I'm not going to do that for brevity's sake today, but um, I want to show you this software. I really, really like it. It's a lot of fun, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So I'm going to move my camera over to my screen so you can see what I'm talking about, okay? I've put the tripod here. Sorry guys, please bear with me while I get this tripod legs right and I get this tilted right so y'all can see. Can you see my whole screen or just part of it? Can you see my finger? You can, okay. And you can see over here? You can, good. All right, so here's what this does. I... Uh, went out to the canvas workspace, all right, and I'm going to undo this. Here's the heart that I wanted to use. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you and you can see it better. This is the heart I want to use, all right, and this is what I downloaded to my scan and cut and cut out. I actually had four of them on my um um, my mat. So one, I, I copy paste, copy paste and copy paste and cut out four hearts. All right. I actually cut out six. I went back and did some more. So anyway, uh, here it is right here. This is the heart I want. And I'm going to download this and I want to download it to my PC in an FCM format. So you have the choice. This this one right here downloads it to your scan and cut, and that's where I downloaded the four hearts. Then I deleted those other three, and this is where I'm going to download the one. And it says, where do you want to save it? Well, I want to save it in a folder in my embroidery file called Valentine's Day, and I called it Conversation Hearts. Okay, and you can see it's an FCM file. No, I don't know what that stands for, and it's not a big deal. Okay, do I want to replace it? Sure, why not? Okay, I don't care about looking at the downloads and we're all done. So I'm going to go back here to Simply Applique. All right, in this Simply Applique, can you see my cursor up here on this? It's up here in the corner. There's an A, and if you click it, it opens up a menu. And I'm, um, oh, well, first thing we need to do is get a new file. Now we're good. There's my little uh, design place to work on. So I'm going to go File, Open. No, I'm going to go File, Import FCM, right there, okay? From where I navigate to the Valentine's Day folder, there it is, 
and click open. Now, because the fabric for the scan and cut has heat and bond on the back, when I cut it out, it's inverted. All right, so the fabric, the face of the fabric, the pretty side of it is upside down on the mat. So we need to invert this image right here. If you're gonna change the size of the heart, you have to do it in the brother canvas. You must do it before you get here because this is gonna turn into an applique and you don't want it to be the wrong size for the fabric, okay? So let's invert it. I'm gonna go over here to the Arrange tab and I'm gonna clip on, um, click on Flip Horizontal. That did that. Back to Home. And um, gosh, I think I'm done, right? I'm gonna click over here. So I've got this selected. I'm gonna go to Tools. And there's a button right here that says Convert to Applique. Click it and look what happens. Isn't that awesome? It has, if you can come over here and click and look, it's got a tack down stitch right here. It's got, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it has a placement stitch right here. It has a tack down right here and it has the satin stitch right there. When you click on the applique part right here, over here on this side in the applique properties, I'm gonna turn this so maybe you can see it just a little bit better. Applique properties, the type, it has a satin, a blanket, a motif, or a run, and that's like a bean stitch. I'm going to leave it on satin, okay? You can change the stitch length or width or density or any of that business, and I don't know what most of it means. But what I did, I did some tests, and okay, I'm going to leave the stitch length at 2.0. I'm going to change the width to 3.8. I'm not going to mess with the density. I like it the way it is. And on the inset percent, I'm going to change it to, whoops, 85.00. Okay? 85.00. The placement offset, I'm going to leave at zero. And the tack down offset, I'm going to change from what it is by default to minus 1.8. I'm going to hold this. Can you guys see this paper? I tell you what, I'll put those in the uh, description box, those settings, if you want to do them. And then you have to click the apply button. See how the, it's dark? That means it's not stuck yet. So hit apply there. And that's it. So I'm done. Now what I want to do is I want to put some words on my conversation hearts. So I went into Embrilliance. And this font is called Follow Directions. I will put that also in the description box. I'm going to get rid of this one because I've already done You Are Cute. And I'm going to um, get another, set this up. You know what? Let me, um, let me see. I already have one. I already did love you. Oh, let me do Oh Baby. Hold on, let me get rid of this. I'm gonna click on this. Sorry, guys. I totally had my stuff together there for a minute. Oh, cancel. I'm gonna go to Oh Baby Words. That's my file. So, yeah, one of the things I wanted to do. So, in Embrilliance, you click on the A for Alpha, and I'm gonna type in all caps, O and baby. This is a BX font, so I can type it out like, um, like a word processing program. And then I save this, I save the stitch and working file in my Valentine's Day folder, and it's called O baby words, the PES file, save it. Replace it, sure, why not? You can save this in any file type for any kind of machine you might have. Now I'm going to go back to Simply Applique and click off this, okay? On this, I'm going to go File, Open. I want the Oh Baby Words open. And it creates a new tab, okay? The Design 4 over here is my Applique Heart. And then it created a new tab for Oh Baby Words. I'm going to click on this, 
right click copy come back and click on this and right click paste and my, I'm going to wait for a little hand to turn a little thing to turn into a hand it's a little bit big so I'm going to bring the size down using the corner so it goes down incrementally and it'll resize the stitches so they fit I'm going to place the O and the H right under the little point of the heart. There. I think that's perfect. So I'm just going to file, save as, and it always defaults to paste setter outline files, which is annoying. I wish it would remember the last one I did. And I'm going to call this Oh Baby, and I'm going to get rid of words, and I'm just going to call it Oh Baby App for applique. Whoop. Okay, that's it. I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to move this over to a USB drive and head to the machine. Okay, we're here at the machine and um, I just put the uh, oh baby um, that we made on the computer uh, on the USB stick and loaded it in the machine. So I'm going to hit sewing and I'm going to use a green heart. This is the heart that was cut from the scan and cut. See how perfect that is? I could never do that in a million years. And so um, I'm ready to go. I need to thread my needle. This is the fifth one of these I've done. It needs to get there. Okay, and I'm going to put that down and have it do my placement stitch. Now I hooped the fabric, and this is a Kona white. This is warm and white, is the uh, batting. And I have a stabilizer. I'm using a um, mesh cutaway. I'm not going to, you know, have you go through this whole thing with me, but I do want you to see how great this turns out. So I'm going to put this on here. This has heat and bond on the back. Okay. And I just want to get it placed just right. And I have a little, this is a little pad that is designed to go for iron-on. While, without removing the hoop. I don't need it a whole lot. I just want to, and ask me how many times I have forgotten to remove that and stitched it to the back of my project. <laughs> ah, it's all about it. Okay, good. That's just good enough. I couldn't get the part in the back, but that's okay. I'm gonna remove my little pad. It's nice and warm now. Okay. And now it's going to do the tack down stitch. And see, this got created. I'm going to see if I can get close for y'all. This got created from an image, a heart image that I pulled off of Google Images. And it was a plain heart line drawing. I edited it on the Brother Scan and Cut canvas. The Brother Canvas is where I edited it. Sent it down to the Scan and Cut machine to cut out the heart. And now it's starting the satin stitch. It's gonna take four minutes to stitch this out, so I'm gonna put you on pause. Okay. The satin stitch has finished, and it is perfect, you guys. I did uh, three tests until I got it just right. So um, you've got to test it every time. And that's where your scrap basket really comes in handy. So that follow direction font is perfect for a conversation heart. I'll uh, be back with you in a second. 
Okay guys, um, the video is getting a little long and it was going to take nine minutes to stitch out um, Oh Baby. So I'm just going to flip this around and show you what I have done on this so far and I will show you the finished project with borders on and a backing and everything in another video, okay? So let me bring this down so you can look. Can you see it? Look. They look so professionally done. Is the phone upside down? I hope not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They might look professional. My video skills are not. Okay. Now, I hooped all layers to prevent any kind of puckers. And it has worked out so well because this font is dense. Okay. But being able to hoop all three layers and then I cut the excess off the back. And it worked fine. So anyway, I will cover that up with the backing. And um, then I'm going to probably do some quilt stippling in here. Free motion on my sit down. Okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. And um, again, that is uh, Simply Applique is the, name of the, is the name of the software. And I absolutely love it. I got it at allbrands.com. That's A-L-L-B-R-A-N-D-S dot com. That's also where I bought my Scan and Cut. And they have amazing customer service. And if you go to my blog, powertoolswiththread.com, um, type in in the search bar, Brother Scan and Cut, and you'll see a bunch of posts come up that I did about all of this, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.